Car trouble? Thanks for hearing me out. Solid advice. You and Carly have been through a lot worse. It's probably gonna be rocky for a little while, but uh, you'll get through it. You always do. I hope you're right. I think I am. Plus, uh, I'm around for both of you. Always have been, always will. You're always a brother to me. You know that. Pizza, buddy. It's gonna be alright. Hey! Oh, hey! Can I get in on that action? Oh, wow. <laughs> Seriously, save some for the rest of us. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Right. My mom's sober sponsor. How could I forget? Yeah, it looks like you're having car trouble. Yeah, you know, it was fine a half hour ago. I don't know what's going on. Well, I'm glad I came along when I did. I'll give you a lift. Oh, no, no, that's that's okay. Don't It's no trouble. No, really, my husband's on his way. I'll Your mother would just shoot me if I let you stranded in a garage. No, I don't think she would do that. <laughs> yes, she would. Come on, let me help you, and um, you can be in charge of the tunes. I wish I could stick around, but I have to go see Sam. Oh, I just ran into her at the hospital. It looks like she's getting a birth any day. Yeah, I know. We're really excited. But uh, I want to see you. Yeah, I'll only let you go, though, if you promise we'll get together soon. Oh, absolutely. That's a deal. Mm. Great to see you. Yeah, you too. Here you go, Let's sit down. It looks like the worst of the storm is going to pass us by. Yeah, I know, but I bet it's pretty bad in the mountains. I'm just so disappointed that Fort Charles isn't going to be snowed in. I know that sounds crazy, but I just love the snow. It makes everything look so clean and peaceful and pure. Yeah, it is beautiful. Listen to me go on and on. I'm going to sound silly talking about taking pleasure in such little things. But in this life, I really haven't had any big things to take pleasure in. No, no husband, no children. Honestly, you just don't know how lucky you are. Just in case what? Why are you giving this to me now? Okay. Hey, Motherhood sure looks good on you. Oh, wow. <laughs> it didn't always. To hear your mother tell it, you were natural. Hardly, really. I mean, most of the skills I got in the family department, I just picked up from around. I didn't, I didn't grow up in a model home. Wow, you never know, do you? My family, I, I come from a very big family, tight-knit family. Everybody always thought we were loyal and loving. You just scratch the surface just a little bit. It was all for show. We were always at each other's throats. Couldn't trust all one of us. Hey, Lucas. Have you seen Sam? Yeah, you just missed her. She took off a little bit ago. Thanks. I gotta get back to work. I mean, you must be real proud of yourself. Are you and Curtis setting up that little stake out of yours, meddling when I warned you not to. What's this now? You threatening me? It's too late for that. I just want you to understand, if anyone is in danger, Sam, Danny, whoever, you're as much to blame as I am now. What the hell does that mean? I pray to God you never find out. No, oh, I didn't know you came from a big family. Oh, I don't talk about it much, not even to your mother. We went our separate ways a long, long time ago seismic falling out. Lately, though, I've found myself drawn back to them. Yeah, well, there's no denying blood. I don't think that's it. After this estrangement, I worked so hard to start over. Focused on uh, restoration, reinvention, You're so sweet.